Okay everyone, so now we are going to install Java in our system. First of all, we are checking that Java is available in our system or not. So we have opened the command prompt. Here we are typing Java and press enter. Here you can see that Java is not recognized as internal external command for Oracle program or batch file. That means Java is not there into the system. So first of all, we are going to install the Java. So we are going to Google. Here in the Google, we are writing Java 1.8 JDK download. So in the search, it is showing us the options. So here we are selecting the JDK 8U202 and earlier. So click on that. So now a site will open. We are going to down here. And here we can see that in the Java, there are download files available. So there is a product, their file size and the download. So if you are using the Linux, you can go in the Linux and take out the file. If you are using a Mac, so correspondingly you can take the Mac file or Solaris. So we are using the Windows here. So for the Windows, we are going and selecting the file. Now in our Windows, which version we are using? It is 32 bit or 64 bit. So depending upon that, we have to download. Here I am using the 64 bit. That's why I am downloading the 64 bit. So JDK 8U202 Windows 64. So clicking on that. It is asking us to accept and review. So click on that and download JDK. Now first of all it is asking us to create an account. Or if you have already account then you can sign in here. I don't have the account so I will go on the create account. So now we are going to create the account. Here first of all we have to provide our email ID. After providing password and retype the password we have to select the country. It is already selected India. Then we have to provide the name. Let's say I am giving my name which is Ankit then Verma. Then afterward you have to provide your job title, work phone, company name, address, city and zip code. Then afterward click on create account. After giving all the details it is saying that check your email. That means on the email there is a verification code that is sent. So we have to check our email. So now we can see that on our email we have received a mail that is your Oracle account. Verify your email address. So here we are going down it is saying that verify email address. So click on that. Now it is saying that success your account is ready to use. So click on continue. Now afterward we are going back and here we are providing our username and password. After entering the details we have to click sign in. Now here we can see that after successful completion of creating account and login here is the JDK 8U202 window version is started downloading. It will take certain time to download the file. So here we can see that the installer is downloaded. Now we are clicking on that. Setup is started. It is saying that welcome to the installation wizard of Java SC development kit 8 update 202. So click on next. Now I click on next again. It will take certain time to copy the file. It is giving us certain information. So click OK. Now it is asking us to select the destination folder C drive program file Java. So we are clicking on next. It is installing the files. So here on the window it is saying complete Java SC development kit 8 successfully installed. So click on close. After closing everything now we have opened our C drive. So here clicking on the C drive. Now we can see that in the program files we have to see that Java is available. So this Java is installed. Now we are going back to the command prompt. Now we are having the command prompt. So here in the command prompt now we are writing the Java and press enter. We can see that some of the statements are there. Earlier it was showing that this command is not recognized. But now it is showing us some files. That means Java is downloaded here. Now we are going to check that which Java version we are using. So for that we are having is the command simply write Java then simple dash and version. So here we have to provide Java space dash version press enter. Now we can see that it is showing that Java version is 1.8.0 underscore 202 and this is for the 64 bit. So this is our version which we are using right now. Now we are checking the Java compiler which is Java C. So here we are writing Java then C and press enter. So here it is saying that Java C is not recognized as an internal or external command. Here we have to set the environment variable. 
Now we are going to set the environment variable so that we are going back where our Java is installed. So into the C drive program files Java, we are going inside. Then here we are going in JDK. Don't go in JRE. Going into JDK, Java Development Kit. So here, double click on that. Inside that we have bin. So go on the bin. Now on the top we are having is the path. So click on that. Now this path we have to copy. So right click and copy this path. Now afterward we are going on the this PC and right click and here we are going on the properties. Now here we are going to search the environment variable. So here it is saying that edit system environment variable click on that. Now we can see that it is showing that environment variable click on that. So now we are having the environment variable window here we are having two types of variable one is the user variable and second one is system variable. So first of all we are going on the system variable here click on the path. Now inside the path click on edit. Here we can see that already some paths are available. So here click on new. We have copied the path of Java. So just paste it. So that path where our Java bin is there. So C drive program files Java JDK and then bin. This path we have pasted here. Now click on OK. Similarly we are going on the user variable. Here click on path. Now we are going on the edit. Here we are clicking on the new. And we are just going to paste here. So here we are pasting the path which is C drive program files Java JDK bin. Now press OK. Now afterward we are going back where our Java is installed. So here we are inside the bin. Now we are going back to the JDK. Inside that we are having the JRE. So double click on that. Now here we are having the path. So just click on that and take out the path. So C drive program files Java JDK JRE. So right click and copy this path. Again we are going back to the environment variable. Now here inside that we are creating a new. So inside the new we are providing the name of variable. The name of variable is class path. So for the class path we are providing now in the variable value. Just right click and paste. So here we are having the path which is C drive program file Java JDK JRE and press OK. Now afterward we have provided all the paths. So here we are going and pressing the OK. So press OK. Now here afterward again we are pressing OK. Now afterward we are going to close everything which is available. Now afterward we are having the command prompt which we have opened. So here we are writing Java C and press enter. Now you can see that here in Java C there are so many files which are coming. So that means Java compiler is now available. So here the environment variable is set and now we can use the Java in our system. So successfully we have installed the Java in our system.